He has always considered Crimea to be part of Russia. Putin loses Crimea, he loses the war. Ukraine takes Crimea, Ukraine wins the war. Crimea is vital ground for both Ukraine and Russia. And in military terms, vital ground is ground if you lose, you basically lose the conflict. Um, and that is why it's so key. From Putin's perspective, the Russians' perspective, he has always considered Crimea to be part of Russia. And from a military tactical perspective, it's where the Black Sea fleet is. Um, it's where a lot of the forces are. It's where the key defensive, what's called the Sorovkin line of trenches uh, and minefields are. So if that is broken through, which is what Ukraine is trying hard to do at the moment across a very large front, there is not much defence behind that front line. The other key thing about Crimea, it's, it's a vanity project for Putin. And the much talked about Kirsch Bridge, which is attacked regularly, is a real uh, dagger in Putin's side. This massive engineering project, um, which, which he trumpets to the rest of the Russia as being a symbol of Russian power, is taken down by sort of robots and drones. And it is the way, Crimea is a, a, a sort of the Riviera of Russia, it's where the rich and elite go for their summer holidays. But actually, we now see miles and miles of traffic who can't get across the Kirsch Bridge because it's been hit yet again and are trapped in Crimea. So you put all that together and uh, there is, on the one hand, uh, the knowledge that if Ukraine breaks through and takes Crimea, um, it pretty much signals the end for Putin. But with that in mind, what is Putin? What are the Russians prepared to do to defend Crimea? Well, they put in tremendous amounts of military effort and manpower and armor and tanks uh, into Crimea and aircraft to hold it. Um, but it is, in my opinion, if, if and when the Ukrainians break through their armored thrust, they should be very rapidly uh, be able to take Crimea. And then there comes the question, is Putin going to do something demonstrative? Now, we saw in Syria when Assad, supported by Putin, was losing. Um, ultimately, to prevent loss, Assad went to chemical weapons and Putin allowed this. So this is something that we need to be very aware of. Um, it would be possible for Putin to use some sort of chemical attack to completely stymie the um, Ukrainian advance. Equally, we've talked often about the Zaporizhia nuclear power station. I personally believe Putin cannot use his tactical nuclear weapons in Crimea um, for a whole host of reasons that NATO wouldn't allow it, uh, probably physically using conventional cruise missiles. But Putin could blow up Zaporizhia nuclear power station, which again would create contamination and affect the advance. So things are finely balanced, finely balanced on when Ukraine makes a breakthrough. And then there will be a very fine balance of what Putin is prepared to do to hold on to what is his vital ground. Putin loses Crimea, he loses the war. Ukraine takes Crimea, Ukraine wins the war.